It's been a long road for Rutland's Stephanie Schaefer after she lost both her legs when on a boat that she was on in the Bahamas exploded. But today, a big milestone and a turning point in her life, all thanks to a new custom-fitted SUV that she can finally drive. Our viewers will remember this story. We've got a great follow-up tonight. Local 22's Haley Boulay spoke with Stephanie from the driver's seat of her new set of wheels. Hi, Haley. Hi, Lauren and Glenn. Good evening to you. Feeling normal. That's something that Stephanie Schaefer has been searching for during her long and uphill recovery battle. But after a ex boat exploded in the Bahamas, leaving her with unimaginable injuries and challenges. From being able to walk on her own with crutches to getting back behind the wheel, Stephanie has made amazing progress this year. I felt normal for the first time in a long time. The freedom of driving the open road, a normal task that many of us take for granted. But for Stephanie Schaefer, it's a skill she thought she'd never be able to do again. The 23 year old was on vacation in the Bahamas with her family when the unthinkable happened. The boat they were traveling on exploded. Stephanie was left with multiple injuries, losing both of her legs. And then down. That hurts my back a little bit. When we last spoke with her, she was making progress at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in Boston. And since then, she's returned to her home in Rutland and completed some very big milestones, like being fitted for prosthetics and learning to walk with crutches. It was a big accomplishment because I had for so long wanted to get the crutches and not have to use a walker or a wheelchair anymore, so it's been good. Still requiring a lot of help from those around her, Stephanie's mother Stacy remembers when her daughter used to take trips to the store or go and pick up her sister, but those trips ended after the accident. It's just one less thing that I have to depend on other people for, you know, it's kind of feels like everything now I need help with or I need someone with me and I, you know, I can't really do anything on my own, so this is not a small thing, it's a very big thing that I finally got back to do on my own. On Monday, Steph regained some of her independence when she got behind the wheel of her brand new car. I got my new car fitted with hand controls. Thanks to North Country Chevy dealers and Mobility Works, Steph was fitted with a brand new Chevy Equinox made just for her. What we've installed in Stephanie's car is an electronic uh, push rock hand controls, a spinner knob, and a pedal guard. So she'll be able to drive uh, this beautiful car that they, was donated. Everything she needs to be able to get down the road safely. She was able to take the car for a test drive down the street. Steph was a little slow to start, but a quick trip around the block and she was back to driving like she never stopped. Brake by pushing forward on this um, control here mm -hmm. and then gas is by pushing or pulling forwards and then there's this thing here to help me with turns. So where is she headed first with her brand new wheels? I don't know there's so many places I want to go but I know the first time I drive somewhere I will bring my puppy with me and bring him somewhere so that he can play outside. <laughs> Steph says she's been progressing slowly in her rehabilitation. She's tired, but things are going well, and she's clearly progressing quite a bit since we last saw her. And we should mention that today is her 23rd birthday. Happy birthday, Steph. Live in studio, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. A very happy birthday. Yeah, Have happy birthday. Day. Great story. Glad to see she's progressing and voicing. I love having that independence back. Like she